Okay, so I get a lot of questions about Google Classroom. So I'm gonna show you inside um, and then show you how to add no print resources. So you can go to classwork. You can also add from within stream. If you click on share something with your class, you can um, you know, choose a student that you're going to um, add it for and then you would click down here and you would go to add and you can add straight through Google Drive. You can use a link, a file or a YouTube um, video. So if you are a digital SLP member, it can be nice to link those YouTube videos in here. Um, and let's see, so the other way you can add, you could go into classwork and click create. So here you're gonna have the options for assignment, material, um, quiz. So say we click on assignment here. Um, let's see, let's complete section one in um, spring no print. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong place. Let's try that again. Okay, um, so I have this open here and I just put in the title and the instructions and um, we're gonna add, it's just like we looked at in the stream, you can do YouTube, file, link, Google Drive. Um, so I'm gonna do a file and then you can, um, you can go and access your drive here or you can select an item for your device, from your device, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I dragged my resources in and I'm going to click upload and upload them. Um, generally you're not going to do all three, but because I'm going to be in a minute, I'm going to be doing some sessions, uh, via zoom and Google hangouts to show you, I'm going to put all three of these on here. So my daughter can easily ac access them. So generally you would just be putting the one PDF that you want to be using for that session. Okay, so um, I added these in. So like I said, I just uploaded these. Generally, you're not gonna add this money to an assignment, but it is possible. Um, it talks a little bit about the sharing settings here. Um, so you can determine if you want to um, limit um, or add privileges to what the student can do. Um, you can also go to make a copy for each student, which is gonna be important if this is something that you are having your students fill out. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click assign. Okay, so if my daughter um, logs in, she will click on this resource, or not this resource, she will click on that link, and then um, in the instructions tab, it will have these uh, resources. So let's talk a little bit about these. Um, so I'm gonna click on this, and what you're gonna see is that this is not clickable right now. So um, we need to do something about that. So um, there's a few things you can do. Um, you can go to open in a new window and then that is going to allow you to um, download it to your device. So you can go over here and you can click on this download button, okay? Um, and then that way you can open it up in a PDF reader. And then when you open it up in that PDF reader, whoop, just like this, so it just automatically opened. I have a setting on my computer where it automatically opens PDFs in Adobe. Um, so that's what happened here. Um, but let me go back to my browser. So you'll see that these are still not clickable. Um, so you can't use this resource um, if the links aren't clickable, or you can, but it's not gonna be as user, friend user friendly. So. Um, you can go to open with up here at the top and there's something called Lumen PDF, which is free. So then this way you can keep everything within your browser and you don't have to do this. You can definitely do it the other way um, that I just showed you. But what you want to do is you want to click connect to Google Drive and you want to give Lumen access. And then um, you're going to choose the account that you're giving access for. So this is the account that I'm in right now my personal account, and then you are gonna click allow because it's asking if it can manage and modify and all that good stuff. Um, okay. So now that I have given that permission, I'm gonna click on connect to Google Drive. I already did this, I thought. Okay. Looks like it's thinking, okay, perfect. So now it's opening that resource within Lumen. So it's taken a minute to think about it. 
Um, but once it's open, you'll see it's too big to fit here. So what you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to click fit so it fits to your screen. And now you will notice when I click this that it is now interactive. So um, we have fill the gumball machine. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on these gumballs and they are going to fill up the machine. So this is CH initial. We're going to click here and just like that. Um, the gumball machine starts to fill up. So now this resource is interactive like it's supposed to be. So this is a workaround if you're having issues in Google Classroom um, for how you can open these and keep them interactive on your browser. So I hope that you found that to be helpful. Um, I'm going to, right now I'm gonna actually go and record a few more videos showing how to use these um, in this way and also with Adobe, Adobe Acrobat uh, while I do a Zoom session and a Google Meet session with my daughter. So if you're interested in that, I will drop links for those in the comments of this video.